What do students know and what can they do with what they know? More than half a million 15-year-olds took part in the OECD's latest global education assessment known as PISA. The main focus was on math, a subject that is so crucial for social and economic progress. What returns are they getting on their investment? Asian economies filled the first seven places. Top performers, like Shanghai and China, and Singapore, even extended their lead since the last PISA test. Some countries, like Qatar, Kazakhstan, and Malaysia, have improved a lot, but from low levels. And some countries that have invested in education reform have seen strong results, including Israel, Brazil, Turkey, Mexico, Portugal, Italy, Poland, Germany, and Greece. It is vital to give every student a chance to succeed. And the best performing education systems show that's actually possible. They have high expectations for every student. They attract the most talented teachers into the most challenging classrooms. And they combine professional autonomy with a collaborative culture across teachers and schools. The PISA test revealed the impact of efforts by some countries to help their weakest students. Between 2003 and 2012, Brazil, Mexico, Tunisia, and Turkey saw a significant drop in the share of students performing at the lowest levels, as did Poland and Germany. They managed to narrow the gap between high and low performing students. Some increased equity too, as many low performers are from the poorest families. PISA shows a clear gap between the genders. It's in favor of girls when it comes to reading, in favor of boys when it comes to math. And the math gap is particularly wide among the top performing students, in favor of boys. What's worrying is that the gap is not just in performance, it's also reflected in the attitudes of girls. Girls have lower expectations of themselves, lower aspirations in math, and lower dispositions. And that in itself can become a very important barrier for their future success. The OECD's PISA test shows that every country can improve its education system, even the best. Investing equitably is essential. <laughs>